Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it's time to wrap up our cool playground project by making a brochure. So let's get cracking. Friends, step one is to make sure you have all four parts completed. One, you need to have the spiral slide. Two, you need to have the teeter totter. Three, you've got to have the swing. When you've completed those pieces, you've got to add your own cool piece, whatever you want to add. You can see this student right here added an awesome jungle gym and many other cool rides like the zip line. You can also go through and add scenery and other cool pieces as you create your awesome final project. Do make sure you have at least one sign in your project as well. When you've got to that level, it's time to take pictures of your project. Check out these tips to get the best pictures ever of your project. First, zoom way out and grab everything lift it up quite high noticed i went 327 then choose fit view if you click somewhere else and right click and rotate you can zoom in so you've got a sweet look at your park without that blue background i'm also going to hide this so i've got more room to play if i shift right click i can nudge i can zoom in I can get the exact angle I want for my playground. When you've got the angle you want, you need to take a screenshot. I like to take screenshots with snipping tool. In Windows, you can click and type SN for snipping, and then I tell my students to pin it to the taskbar. So you can see mine is always right here. When it pops up, we click New, and then you want to grab a quality image. So try and not have any extra stuff. If I was just trying to make this small picture for the first part, I could choose to do it just like that. When you've got your awesome image and you're gonna need at least three of these, hit save snip, and then we always put them in our downloads. Scroll all the way up to quick access, choose downloads, and then I'm gonna call this playground one. And I'm gonna put my initials just cause that way it keeps it all organized. Now you need at least three awesome pictures in your brochure. You may be able to squeeze in more, but the rule is you gotta have three. So get different angles, maybe zoom in on just one ride and just find out the most awesome ways you can show off your playground. I'm gonna take one more image just showing you the technique. This was the kids having fun on the slide. I like that. I'm gonna hit save. Notice here's playground one. If I click that once, I can just backspace and make it playground two. And I've got two of my three awesome pictures. But now I'm gonna show you how to put your project back. Make sure you grab the entire project, just do D to drop and it's back and ready for you to play. So anytime you wanna take a picture, you can lift it up. That way you don't have the blue background and you can get the highest quality images of your Tinkercad projects. So friends, it's time to create a brochure we're going to do that by going to Google. When you hit Google, then you can see your app bar and then you can launch a new Google Doc. We want this to be a plain Google Doc. If you've got another way to get there, I don't care, but we want a blank Google Doc. As soon as you get it open, I will play ground and I want you to type your initials. With that done, we need to change the page. So go to File, Page Setup. We wanna make sure it says Whole Document and I'm gonna tell you to type 0 0.5, 0 0.5, backspace, 0 0.5. You can also select and just type 0 0.5. You also need to pick a cool page color. The rules in my room, I always want you to use one of these top two rows. I'm gonna make mine with a blue and I'm gonna tell it okay. So now notice how close this moves to the edge. I've got the sweet background and we're ready to add a heading to our brochure. Remember we do this with insert drawing and we're doing new. We do this because we get access to the amazing word art. When you click word art, I want you to type something about your playground. Mine's gonna be Mike's mega playground. You need some sort of sign that'll make people want to go to your playground. This brochure is built so that you get people to enjoy what you've created. We need to then pick cool colors. I'm gonna do a cool gradient for my color. I think I want this white and gray. And then also we wanna add a cool border. Remember you can pick those here. I'm gonna do four and I wanna make it a different color with this button. I'm gonna make it a bright blue and I'm gonna use custom to get the blue I want. 
So I'm moving this bar out to the blues and I'm finding the blue that I think is awesome. When I hit okay, I can double check it. I think I had too much for this, so I'm gonna back it up to three and I'm gonna back it up to two as I experiment. The last piece that is awesome is to pick a font that you think is awesome. I really like the one I just chose that is Ultra. Remember, you can always go through your recent ones. You can always go through more fonts as you try and find something that you think is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna make sure this fits in the document. I'm gonna stretch it to the exact size I want. And when I'm happy, I'm gonna hit save and close. Boom, we've got the start of a brochure with Mike's Mega Playground. Remember to click on this and we always choose break text so that this stays at the top of our project. The next part is we wanna have a welcome to our playground. So somehow you need to come up with a welcome story. I'm gonna keep mine real simple. It says, welcome to our awesome mega playground. It was created for everyone in the neighborhood to enjoy. Create some sort of story that makes your playground stand out so that people will enjoy it. You can have more sentences than me. Make sure you do not have less sentences than me. You also should not say the exact same thing I said. So there's a lot of room for you to come up with a cool theme or story for your park. The next thing we wanna do is bring in a picture. Once again, we do that by insert image and we are gonna upload because remember we put them in our downloads folder. When you go up to downloads, you can find whichever one you wanna use first. I am gonna use image one because I think it's pretty sweet and then I am gonna squeeze this down and shrink it, and then you've got to hit wrap text. This is the important part that lets us move it where we want, and then the words wrap around it. We're gonna call this the overview. So I want you to switch to heading two, and I want you to type overview, and then press enter. Notice it automatically switched to normal text, after you put the word overview, add a little background about your park. It's totally make-believe, but I want you to have at least a few sentences where you talk about it. I mentioned how mine is one of a kind, rides are built to be safe and fun. Tell me about the parts that make your part special and have them beside this picture. All right, friends, I want your overview to last all the way through this. You can see I put in some fake text so you can see how far this has to go. I will allow you to select this and change it to size 12, maybe even size 13, but not larger as you get to the next chunk. I'm gonna press enter below that. I'm gonna make sure I decrease my indent. Friends, if you ever have stuff pushed over, this button is magical for getting it back to where it's supposed to be. So in this chunk right here, you're gonna have your overview, and the next one is gonna be called rides. So I'm gonna type rides, and then I'm gonna put, once again, heading to, and then I'm gonna bring in the second picture. Hit insert image, upload, once again, find it, and you're gonna show off one of your rides. Now notice it came in huge, so we're just gonna shrink it down so it fits, then it goes back to the right page, and we're gonna turn on that wrap text. I'm gonna put it right at the same spot, because I want this label to go to the right. One of the, pro one of the rules with our brochure is we always go right to left and then finally back to right on the last picture. In the box below this, once again, when you press enter, you'll see it switches to normal text and I want you to add text about your rides. You can start with something different, but I created a sentence that says, I feel the best ride in the park is. Uh, finish that out, have it awesome, and then below that, I need you to make a bulleted list. And in the bulleted list, I want you to list all of your rides. Well, everyone has a spiral slide, because these were mandatory. Everyone has a teeter-totter, and everybody also has a swing. Now below that, you have to have at least one more. You can also mention other things that are cool about your park. And then also you can change that size of the font to whatever you had before. You do wanna stay the same between the projects and you also wanna make sure that your words get down to the bottom. Once again, I'm gonna put fake text for mine so that it moves down far enough. And then if you get down close to the bottom, remember you can hit backspace to cancel that out and move down to where the next picture is gonna go. Friends, when you get to this point, we need to insert a third picture. I took my picture without showing you. You just need to use the same technique to get a third picture. When you do get it, make sure you shrink it. Make sure you use that sweet word wrap. And then this one has to go on the right side. 
when you get this in place you can start arranging your stuff so that it drops where it's supposed to notice if I press enter right now I can go down and get below that other shape and then we want to shrink and arrange these so that it looks just awesome down here friends we're gonna put rules and safety I'm gonna use the ampersand and once again when you put this in you do need to switch to heading to notice it went nice into the left and now you just need to add a few rules and some safety so my first rule is gonna be that while you're visiting Mike's Mega Playground remember to treat others nicely and then also created a bulleted list and then friends under your bullets you can put other little simple rules please remember to have fun be creative as you make your own awesome project friends when you're done in my room you do need to turn in a screenshot remember we do that by doing view like 75 percent make sure it all fits on one page sometimes you just have to nudge a tiny bit maybe delete some little piece to get it to fit there mine fits on one page you can hide this menu so that it fits a little better I'm gonna actually change to 50% when you've got it all in view simply hit snipping tool new and grab that awesome image of your amazing project hit save put it up in your downloads and this will be called playground brochure and make sure you put your initials and turn it into Google Classroom friends I hope you had a ton of fun with the Tinkercad playground project Friends, I hope you also now have mastered skills to make your own brochure if there's ever something you need to show off. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.